when false narratives are created about the supposed easy life led by judges, it is difficult to swallow. People often complain about the long pendency of the cases at all levels of the Indian judicial system. On multiple occasions, I have highlighted the issues leading to the pendencies and backlog. I have been strongly advocating the need to revamp the infrastructure, both physical and personal, to enable the judges to function to their full potential. One of the biggest challenges before the current day judiciary is prioritizing the matters for adjudication. The judges cannot turn a blind eye to the social realities. The judge has to bring priority to the pressing matters in order to save the system from avoidable conflicts and burdens. On this occasion, I shall not fail to place on record my worries about the future judiciary in this country. Every case is equally important for a judge. The burden on an already fragile judicial infrastructure is increasing by day. There have been a few knee-jerk reactions in augmenting infrastructure in few places. However, I have not heard of any concrete plan to equip the judiciary to meet the challenges of the foreseeable future, leave alone a long-term vision for the century and the country ahead. Once he retires, loses all the protection that came with the tenure. Judges have to live in the same society as the people that they have convicted without any security or assurance of safety. Politicians, bureaucrats, police officers and other public representatives are often provided with security even after their retirement, weighing the sensitiveness of their job. Ironically, judges are not extended similar protection.